Hi there, dear fifth semester students, coming to you once again with a wonderful session. Father Joby here. Hope you are all fine, good of health. Take care, and our prayers are always with you. All right. Here is a wonderful saying. Maybe this will make a lot of sense. Maybe a time like this, when things are a lot different from our usual ways and norms. Life is not a straight and easy corridor, but a maze of passage. Maybe sometimes we are lost, confused. Now and again, sometimes blinded, lost in the alley. But if you have faith and hope within, a door will open for us. And very often, not one that we ourselves would think of, but often that which will prove better and the best for us. And that is God's plan for us. Dear friends, today we are going to make a little summary of a wonderful book some of us may have heard this name, Who Moved My Cheese? By a famous author, Spencer Johnson. Many of us who will enter into business companies and project managers, I'm sure this is going to be one of your first assignments to make a self-study as you enter into your career. I'm sure this is going to make a difference in the lives of all, each of us, and let's go with that open mind to see how we adapt to change, how we accept ourselves and look for newer ways, means that God opens for us. Fine, this is going to talk to us about how we adapt, as we said, to change, work, things that move and new things that come up in our life. How do we adapt to it in our life? All right, the book of speaks about the story in this book. It's a small book, a few pages. There are four characters in this book. Four little characters. We will see where we are, we can identify. And they run through the maze, the zigzag alley. They're looking for cheese which make them happy, nourish them as a daily food. And here are the four characters. The first, the two called the mice, Sniff and Scurry. They are mouse-like characters. And there are two people, little people. They look and act like us humans, M and Ho. So these are the four characters in this story that we are going to look into. Sniff, Scurry, the mice, the little people, Ham and Hall. Now Sniff and Scurry, they are symbol, symbol brain, good instincts. But Ham and Hall, like most of us, are very complex. And they have their beliefs, their practice, and their emotions. Let's see what happens as we go through this. So here is a maze that they run around, move in. And there are some corridors, chambers, where there is cheese, delicious cheese, dark corners, blind alleys that are unknown to them and a place where, of course, they can easily get lost. Of course, connect it to your life. Your life, not always a straight path. There are turns, there are twists, there are dark corners, sometimes unknown junctions. And how do we? And that is what we are moving into. Sniff and scurry, their method is trial and error in a way, sometimes lost, some days bumped into walls, unknown places, 
but hem and haw the human people, their ability to think, to learn. But very often this perception clouded and blinded them from their beliefs and emotions. And see what happens. Each morning they would move the four characters, run through the maze to find and enjoy the cheese which seems to be always there. And if you look at her daily routine, the mice sniff and scurry, they're dressed up, put, up, put on their running gear and they would run to the station, the cheese station called it C. The little people, Hem and Ho, also raced to station C each morning. But let's see what happens. One day, a different routine set in. So if you look at the lifestyle of the two, Hem and Ho, they woke up a little late, maybe like some of us. They dress up a little slow, walk to the cheese because they knew it is secure, comfortable, and it would always be there. And they always felt it is theirs and they will have it always. And this is what they felt, some of the chapters of the book, in fact. Having cheese makes you happy. Take the cheese to your own life situation. Each of us will know what is my cheese, that is my comfort zone, what I feel comfortable with. So here was a little people attitude of hem and haw. Every night they would return home happy because they felt they had enough cheese. And every morning very confident and they would return thinking there will be cheese. Because they felt they deserved the cheese, they worked hard and it was their due. But Sniff and Scurry, their routine was a little different. They returned to the cheese station each morning, but they sniffed around, scratched around, inspecting how the cheese and how it was changing. And they noticed that the cheese was diminishing, that the supply was coming down, and they were in fact prepared for the inevitable and they knew, having sensed, having in touch with the change, what to do instinctively for the new, but not hem and haw. See what happened to hem and haw. All of a sudden, one morning, maybe, no cheese. They were unaware of the changing environment, unprepared. And this was the question, in fact, the title of the book. They were only caught at the spot. Who moved my cheese? It's not fair. That was their questions to themselves, hem and ho, but not sniff and scurry. What is response sometimes when things change in our life? Something new comes, react, shocked, disbelief, and these were some of the responses of sniff and scurry. And cheese can be replaced into our own life situations. It could be material things. It could be your good health, which all of a sudden can be affected, maybe all the more at time like this. Maybe your family, that is all. Maybe you have a wonderful home, a place to stay, or you have a wonderful position, maybe a career later. All this can all of a sudden one day change and like the cheese, in a way disappear and not be there. Sniff and scurry moved on in spite of the no cheese being there. But hem and ho, see what happens. They continue, in fact, as the word itself, the hem and ho. Depression, this is injustice, complaint, and no future plans. 
Maybe sometimes we are likewise lost when something new happens, when there is a change and no, no plan ahead. Maybe we can tell ourselves, the more important your cheese is to you, the more you want to hold on to it. Replace cheese with that which you hold on to. That which if you lose today, you are like him and her, lost completely. I will know what it is. And the next day, him and her return to the cheese station, expecting that somebody will put back the cheese. But it was not. But Sniff and Scurry, they had a different plan. See what they did. Sniff and Scurry moved around, looking for a new place, new corridors, up, down, till they find a new place, a new cheese. And they entered new places, tried, ventured, and I'm sure there searching, they moving, will keep them. While him and Ho kept analyzing, angry, unjust, lost, and feeling betrayed, but no action, merely in thought. And between the two, him and Ho, who decides to leave? Who is a bit more positive? He wants to venture into, but not him. He is stuck on, dangerous, maybe too old, may get lost, maybe others may make fun of me. I might fail, I may not find cheese. So he stays on, him stays on, who wants to move on. I'm sure it is directly to our own lives situations, there are different ways we can react, different ways we can respond. Here is Hem's idea. Perhaps if we just work a little more, look a little more, we will find new cheese. What they call difference between activity and productivity. We may be merely acting but not producing. Our action must also produce its yield. And they started growing tired, him and Ho. They've been losing their patience, but no action, waiting for things to change, but no action from them. Here's a caption another. Prepare to re-enter the maze or wait until they put the cheese back. This is response of one. Let the cheese come back. No contribution. Sometimes things change and they are never the same again. This looks like one of those times that's life. Life moves on and should we. And this approach of sniff and scurry, life moves on and we need to adapt, find. If you do not change, you can become extinct. Dear friends, look into the world of technology or anything I'm sure there are many things that have become extinct today, maybe very popular brands, but they were not able to change and adapt to the new requirements and in with time. I'm sure same thing can happen. Maybe sometimes what controls us is fear and anxiety. That's what happened to him and Ho. What happens if there is no cheese? What if I'm unable to find cheese? Unless I move, I may not find cheese. I'm sure this is something that can tell each of us. What would you do if you weren't afraid? I'm sure we would have flown higher. We would have our wings longer and higher had we no fear within. Very often, many things we don't do because fear, afraid of many things, of making mistakes, of finding a new way may prevent us. Let us remove fear 
and I'm sure we would do greater things. Coming back to the maze, there is to be a little cheese here and there and they moved. Sniff and scurry, they moved, looking forward, one step forward, one step back. That is easier than a cheeseless situation, moving around, looking for is better than what M and Ho did, finding nothing, being lost. But Hem and Ho kept looking back. When you look at the event, I'm sure the cheese hadn't actually disappeared overnight. It was diminishing smaller and smaller. It was becoming old, moldy. And they should have anticipated change like sniff and scurry because they smelled the cheese. They felt the cheese was diminishing. And that's important. Smell the cheese often so you know when it is getting old. Open your eyes to life situations that are changing so that we are not caught in the last hour. We know what changes, what are going to happen to life. And who is discouraged? An empty cheese situation wants to give up losing physical strength. But he thinks, what would I do if I weren't afraid? And I'm sure moving in a new direction is where they will find new cheese. I'm sure when we are reached a dead end, find a new direction and I'm sure we will find new cheese, new windows opened and maybe a way that is much and unthought of, but more promising. And when do you feel free? It's when you move beyond your fear. And each of us will know, what is the fear that is holding me? What is the fear that is not allowing me to fly? What keeps me moving is thinking about the new cheese that there is cheese that makes me keep moving. So here are some captions that speaks about sometimes our old beliefs may hold us back to that cheeseless situation. Noticing change helps us to adapt to bigger changes that will come later in life. And as Ho found and found new cheese, he reflected what he learned. And Ho learned, keep life simple. Don't overanalyze and complicate. Change with situation. Friends, this is something that we often miss. And success comes often with change. Mistakes, change can give us a new path, a future, a new change, bringing newer hope. While him never found anything, died to his own analysis and thinking, Discouraged, depressed, never seen change, Ho adapted, came, changed and found the new cheese. We will see the same a video, I am sure that will conclude for us and bring this message.
Maybe to sum up, these are the writings on the wall which we can take to ourselves. Whatever be our life situation, change happens. They keep moving the cheese. Anticipate change. The cheese will move. And monitor change, meaning smell the cheese. When it is getting old, then you will know. So change happens. Anticipate, monitor, change. Adapt to change quickly. Let go of your old cheese and move to the new. Change. Move with the cheese. And always enjoy the change. Savor the advantage and enjoy the taste of the new cheese. And be ready to change and enjoy it again and again. Move with the cheese and enjoy it. Dear friends, take this story to ourselves. I will know what is the cheese in my life. What is that change? Where will I be? Will I be like him and her? Analyze. Very comfortable. It's my right. I have everything. I will have my cheese every day. Or am I like sniff and scurry? Cheese. Feel it. Smell it. It can change. Somebody can move my cheese. It is diminishing and I adapt myself better to situations and I find in the maze, even if my path is not straight, I can move, find the new cheese and enjoy the cheese. I'm sure we can identify ourselves either. There are times we are like him and ho or sometimes only like him, not even like ho or are we like sniff and scurry Change happens, let us adapt with the change. Dear friends, they will move the cheese. My cheese is my life ahead. Then complaining, then sitting back, can I move with the time? Can you adapt and make ourselves better? Enjoy the new cheese and enjoy it and find happiness, find joy. So the change is not outside, the change is within. You are the change. Good. God bless you. All the best.